This lesson is editing when digitizing. We'll start with a new screen. And uh, let me find some artwork. Now about this. All files. And let's make this art smaller. Okay. I like to make this uh, topic, uh, editing while digitizing, its own subject because it gets a little tricky uh, if you don't know the basics and what mode you're in. So there's two modes. One is an editing mode and one is a digitizing mode. I'll select the digi mouse to put us in digitizing mode. Now let's say for example we're going to digitize this letter P and I will start with some running stitches. I'll zoom up the letter P and I'll come around and white blue 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 control points on green green blue blue and I'll move the letter P and I can't move that way so I'll go like this blue 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 and down to the bottom blue blue lock it down one two three now let's say for example I'd want to stop my digitizing by turning the digitizing mouse off therefore go into an editing mode and edit a point so now let's for example say we want to change the shape of this area here and maybe change the shape of the, the area here and move this point in here and move this running stitch over here so on and so forth now we will go back into digitizing mode now here's one error that you can get if you don't go to the end or the last point. We'll assume that we're going to start digitizing the letter R by putting a point in the letter R. Now you can see that we've interrupted uh, our point flow. So when this happens, simply undo uh, your, your mistake point. Uh, figure out what went wrong. In this case, we're not back to our end or last point. We're in the middle of the design since we've went in to edit a point. That's fine. We can get to the, the last point by hitting the end button of the keyboard. On the keyboard hit the end key and that will send you to the last point that you digitize. That's one way to get there. Another way to get there is here again I'm going to turn the digimouse off. I'm going to go in and move a point Therefore, you can see the, the point is slightly larger. That's the point that I'm on. I'm going to go Digimouse back on, therefore out of the edit mode. And you can see our rubber band stretch here because it's, uh, uh, the, the software is telling us that we're, that we're over here and we're not down here. So another way to get there is to roll gently roll your mouse button. If you roll it up, it will go forward through the design and keep rolling until it doesn't move anymore. If you go backwards, it'll go back through the design. So get to the end point either by hitting the end key or rolling your mouse. Okay? And don't worry if you make a mistake. Don't worry if you make this mistake and things start looking like that. Just stop what you're doing, undo, get back to where you were at, and try and figure out what, what went wrong. In most cases, you're just not at the end point. So I'm going to roll the mouse and get to the end point. And here I'll needle up needle up and trim okay and this key is just needle up only with no trim this is needle up with trim and we go over to our next letter and we start digitizing again another thing that can happen to you is if we save as we go we file save and we give it a name uh, pro uh, and we save as we go which is the right way to do things when we save as we go, full screen, zoom window, if we save as we go, keep in mind that when you save, when you hit file, save as, your auto center and your save art becomes in effect. If you have your your save art checked, the art will be saved with the image. If you have auto center checked, 
That means after the last point, the software will automatically lift the needle up and go to the center. So, in most cases, we have both these checked on. Very important. If you don't have the auto center checked on, it will not auto center itself. So, in most cases, we have auto center checked on. Keep in mind that when you save, that it will put in a center, it will bring the design back to the center start. And that's what's happening here. Although we were over here when we decided to save, the software automatically lifts the needles up, lifts, lifts the needle up, and comes back to the center. So simply delete that. So I'm going to hit the delete key on the keyboard one time. Now look what happens. We're back to where our last digitized point was at and we can continue on from there. Okay. Now look what happens if we select file save as after we digitize for a while and we save which is the correct way. In five or ten minutes of digitizing save what you've done. So we hit save there and and now we go back to digitizing, which is already in digitizing mode, you will see